we can flick across to the photos and videos pane which allows you to see all the photos you've taken just by swiping through like that you can also open the camera, the video camera from the side here these little icons and then we've also got the music pane which shows you your cover art and you can flick through all your different music at the side here and then just play directly in this application or in this pane of the, uh, of the TouchFlow 3D I should say that was a pretty nice interface, again very easy to use and you can just uh, play that and then carry on with what you're doing whilst it plays in the background um, we've got the ubiquitous weather screen that we see on most of HTC's devices and again you can set various different favourite uh, locations to show the weather for um, as you can see it doesn't really come together, it doesn't, there's not much animation uh, on this particular version not like there was on previous versions where you would get it all sort of move as you clicked on a new uh, location but nevertheless it's just as functional, you've got the five day weather forecast and the temperatures and quite a nice looking uh, icon at the top there to show you what the weather's like today moving across onto the map search function, this is a new uh, pane that we've not seen before and you can just search the Google Maps application from here uh, and then open it up directly um, just by tapping on or searching from the pane so that should load up Google Maps now as you can see and uh, show us where Buckingham Palace is and we can zoom and different things directly from the Google Maps application there we go and it gives us various different information so the next menu we have here is the settings menu and that gives us some basic settings like mail setup and uh, wireless communications like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and things or we can just go down to this bottom soft key for all settings and that will give us all the settings that we had back in the uh, start menu before which is quite handy um, and then the last pane on the uh, TouchFlow 3D uh, interface is the programs pane which allows you to set various different user customizable shortcuts to all your favourite applications, so we've got things like YouTube and Facebook in there, Twitter application and MSN Messenger, which I've just set personally. Uh, there's also a free 14 day trial of Copilot Live 7 uh, as well, or you can buy the full version obviously for voice and guided navigation. Um, we've even got Windows Marketplace here with a uh, logo suspiciously like that of the Nokia Ovi store. But as you can see when you click on it, it just uh, gives you a coming soon page, uh, so it's not quite available yet, unfortunately. OK, so I'm just going to bring up the task manager at the top here and we can have a look at the Facebook integration. We've got Facebook already open so we can just tap on it up there. Um, and you can see we've got a wall here. We can either flip through with a, a finger or a thumb or we can use the stylus. Um, very responsive screen on this as you can see here. It's um, very, very nice and uh, easy to flip through different lists and things. Um, and we can have a look at our news feeds and status updates. Uh, we can look at our own profile. We can even load up our photo albums, which is pretty nice as well. I've uh, also got your friends' information there, and you can view their profiles just by clicking on them and viewing the profile from this menu. Um, or we've got messages and different phone numbers as well for our contacts. So altogether, it's a pretty nice experience, and it shows off how uh, nice and touch-friendly the screen is, uh, being able to swipe through so easily. You can also update your status from uh, this little button down the bottom here, shortcut key. Uh, or just open up the menu and add a video or a photo or something as well and you can just upload that directly to uh, Facebook actually capture one and upload it straight away uh, also up in our task manager you'll notice we had uh, Word Mobile open uh, for Microsoft Office on here with um, Excel and PowerPoint as well um, just open that up quickly for you test document, you can see it opens up not too uh, bad, it's not too slow um, but it doesn't load up images, we've got a mobile bearing image there, it doesn't load it up but at least we've got uh, different coloured font here and different size um, and you can quite easily write obviously a word document in there with the keyboard there are however still some areas of the user interface that look a bit spartan for example uh, if we just pop into the calendar here you can see it's the same calendar that we had back in uh, Windows Mobile 6.1 it's still sort of a very bland white looking uh, layout so there are still areas of the user interface that aren't as uh, pretty as the uh, main menu has been made now um, you can see we've got various different things in here, preloaded on the phone, we've got Active Sync, uh, we've got Adobe Reader, Facebook integration that we mentioned a moment ago, an FM radio, Opera web browser, RSS feed, all various different things that you can use, uh, YouTube as well, we noticed down there. Um, so it's a pretty decent uh, list of different applications that you can choose from. Um, we've just got a couple of games there, I think you can download more from the Windows Marketplace once it's up and running. Uh, so altogether it's not too bad, but there are a few things that are still looking a bit bland in the user interface. 
So that was a quick look at the HCC Touch 2, uh, which is running Windows Mobile 6.5. This will be available soon. Uh, if you'd like to read the full review, uh, please check out our website, mobileburn.com. Uh, this is Russ Jeffries. Thanks for watching.